and welcome to another art book overview. This is going to be Natsume Ono's illustration book containing artwork from her series House of Five Leaves. It was originally released in 2011, it has 160 pages and is a smaller trim than your typical art book. Um, this book also came with an extra postcard which is pretty gives you a good idea of the sort of artwork we're going to be seeing in this book and like with every art book overview I do this isn't going to show off every single page but it will give you a fairly good idea of what you can expect and what sort of pieces are in this book. So as you can see this one actually has a dust cover which is not rare but not necessarily the norm with art books. And again, all of this artwork is related to House of Five Leaves, her eight volume series. It's absolutely wonderful. I definitely encourage you to read it or watch the anime if you haven't. It, like with all of Ono's works, is very down to earth and a subtle character piece. Very, um, she has a very different sense of style to her artwork as you can see with these pieces but the atmosphere she produces within her stories is quite unique as well. So as expected from Ono there's a lot of very stark whites, very heavy ink work and lines. She really does know how to create this contrast and create this boldness to her pieces that isn't necessarily um, the norm within anime or manga. And her style really is one that you like or dislike, um, so yes, definitely give it a try. If you've never seen or read any of her works, they're well worth uh, the investment of time and money. <laughs> so unlike maybe some other art books I've shown off before, when Ono does use this vibrant color, they are much more muted tones, these green grays and olives and burnt oranges comparatively to like an electric blue or a crimson. So even with her color choices, it doesn't uh, pop in the same way that maybe a shonen art book does, but it's still this vibrant uh, piece of artwork that you can really tell the uh, how she uses her colors to represent her story. She has a real understanding and mastery of this balance between such uh, bold color choices and her stark black and whites. It's, yeah, it's not an easy thing to do and I definitely respect her for her talent. She's, she's certainly gotten it down to an art. That's just, that's a gorgeous piece. As you can see, the later half um, really does have mostly like uh, replications of the manga panels themselves. There is a lot of just black and white pieces in here. It's not full color like some of the other art books I've shown off. Well, I mean, technically it is full color, but um, like I said before, it's not necessarily uh, the amount of colors that she uses in her artwork, more so the usage of the colors themselves that make her artwork so visually striking. Oh, I'll go to that one. Look at that beautiful <laughs> And 
and yeah so that is the end like with every art book we have uh, the informational bits telling you where these pieces were first seen and uh, sort of when they were drawn and the back of the book itself this book isn't super hard to find um, you can get cheap sort of secondhand like new copies on Amazon Japan for very very cheap I will leave a link in the description if you like and want to get one of these yourselves it's definitely a book to look into especially if you're an Ono fan and uh, I think I got this copy for 300 yen plus proxy fees which makes it really well worth it I think but thank you so so much for watching uh, I'll catch you in the next video guys bye till then